working on for about two years or more now. This morning, we're getting reaction from recent graduates of Burrillville High School. They say that the posting of sexually explicit images of students is not a new problem. Police are trying to determine who's responsible. Meanwhile, several parents say they didn't learn of the investigation until they say they saw a report. The superintendent of schools declined a request for an interview. An Episcopal High School in New Hampshire is being investigated by the state for sexual assault. St. Paul's School is a co-ed boarding school. The focus of the investigation concerns a particular ritual called the Senior Salute, where students in their final year allegedly try to have sex with younger students. Necessary for St. Paul's to go beyond their own walls to truly fix this problem. It's imperative that an objective third party be used to facilitate prevention education. The names of any faculty or students whom officials may be investigating were not made public. And this broke overnight. A pair of suspects are now on the run after shooting two security guards in Las Vegas. Police say the suspects robbed a sunglass hut inside the Miracle Mile shops late last night while they were fleeing the scene. Two security guards followed them to the shopping center's parking garage. That's where when the suspects opened fire. The suspects are considered to be armed and dangerous. The injuries to the guards are not to believed to be life-threatening. Coming up later on the Sunrise Show, deadline day. The hours are ticking away before a potential strike at Twin River Casino. We have